All non-council employees, non-council employees, please leave the main floor of the chambers. Thank you. Madam Majority Leader, it's all yours. I'm calling the stated meeting to order. Roll call. Adams. Present. Amprey Samuel. Present. Ayala. Barron. Present. Borelli. Brannon. Cabrera. Chin. Here. Cohen. Constantinides. Here. Carnegie. Presente. Deutsch. Presente. Diaz. Drum. Espinal. Eugene. Gibson. Here. Jonai. Gradenchik. I am here. Holden. Kalos. King. Present. Ku. Present. Kozlowitz. Lanceman. Here. Lander. Here. Levin. Here. Levine. Mizell. Here. Menchaca. Presente. Miller. Moya. Present. Perkins. Here. Powers. Here. Reynoso. Richards. Rivera. Present. Rodriguez. Here. Rose. Present. Rosenthal. Here. Salamanca. Torres. Jonai. Traeger. Here. Ulrich. Valone. Levine. Van Bramer. Williams. Jaeger. Matteo. Combo. Present. Speaker Johnson. Here. <clears throat> Supplemental messages and papers from the mayor? None. Supplemental communication from city, county, and borough offices? Preconsidered M60, M61, and M62. Two budget modifications and the chancellor's five year capital plan. <laughs> Referred to finance? M63, from the Queensborough President, appointing Eduardo Cordero, Sr., to the New York City Council's Charter Revision Commission. 
received, ordered, printed, and filed. Supplemental petitions and communications? None. Supplemental land use call-ups? None. I would like to call on Council Member Lanceman. Thank you. Um, in light of the fact that my daughter's graduation ceremony is going to be starting soon, I wonder if you might indulge me and allow me to vote and be on my way. Congratulations and permission granted. Thank you. I vote aye on everything. And let me disclose on the record that the Young Israel of Hillcrest is funded in the budget that we are adopting. And I am associated with this entity as a congregant. And if I may just say a hearty thank you to Latanya, Regina, Isha for their uh, tremendous assistance to me throughout this process. A fond farewell to, uh, to Ramon. It's hard to imagine the institution without him. And a special thank you to our speaker who uh, delivered for me and for the city of New York in a way that all of us can be proud of and grateful for. I vote aye. Thank you very much. Supplemental communication from the speaker. Supplemental discussion of general orders. So on the supplemental communication from the speaker, I'm going to make uh, some remarks uh, today on uh, the budget. Good afternoon. It has been, shh, it has been a long few weeks, but we made it. We now officially have a budget. I am incredibly proud of this budget that we have worked on so diligently and we all did it together, literally all 51 members worked on this budget together for something for every neighborhood across the city, every council district, every borough, we work to try to get some really good things in this budget. With this budget, we are strengthening our city's social safety net for the poorest New Yorkers and making an impact on all of those who need it most. We identified priorities across the five boroughs and through a united front, we negotiated with the administration, we stuck together, and now we have a budget that will benefit everyone in this city. We wanted to focus on the big picture, and some of our significant achievements in this budget are exactly that. There is so much in this budget to be proud of, especially fair fares, increased budget reserves, school accessibility for disabled children, a significant increase in fair student funding, and an increased number of units year to year on permanent supportive housing. With this budget, we also wanted to send a message to all New Yorkers. We are listening to you. One signature piece of this budget, of course, is fair fares. There are nearly 800,000 New Yorkers living at or below the federal poverty line who will be eligible for this program. Now working mothers, like Shani Rahman, who I've talked a lot about, will be able to take their kids to school without worrying, get the chills saying it, without worrying about begging for a swipe. The $106 million included for the fiscal 2019 budget and the commitment by the de Blasio administration to continue to fully fund the program in the out years will literally open turnstiles and doors to the neediest residents of our great city. Another signature piece of this budget is school accessibility. Listening to mothers like Rebecca Kostchenko, who testified here at the council, tell her story of carrying her daughter up the stairs of PS321 in Brooklyn to get her to a computer class proved to me that we have a long way to go and that we have to act and act now. Access should not be limited to children because they are different or disabled. What we are doing now is adding $150 million in capital funding to increase accessibility for disabled children in our city schools. That is responsive government, and it is one that I am proud to be part of. We are doing the right thing. These amazing New Yorkers are why we do what we do. It is because of days like today that remind me why I entered politics that when we accomplish something of this magnitude by making a difference in so many New Yorkers' lives, this is, what it makes, this is what makes it all worth it. And I know that each and every one of you in this body feel the same way. You have been fantastic partners throughout this entire process. Thank you all for being great colleagues and for being great friends. 
I especially want to thank the chair of the City Council's Finance Committee, Danny Drum. Where is Danny? I'm so proud of Danny. He sat through hundreds of hours of testimony and has been a key partner for me in this entire process. I love him very much. I also want to thank the chair of our new subcommittee on the capital budget, Vanessa Gibson, for all of her hard work. For the first time, I think, ever, we got a right-sized capital budget. We got excess appropriations taken out to actually accurately portray what our capital spending is, not in a front-loaded way, but in an accurate way. And Vanessa spent countless and countless hours from the moment we started this new session on January 3rd. And I really want to thank her for her leadership and both of them for their hard work over these past few months on making this happen. The Council's finance team also deserves a huge thank you for their tireless work. They toiled long hours to get to this, this point. Latanya McKinney especially. Where is she? There she is over there. Take a bow. Take a bow. I don't want to get too personal about LaTanya, but I want to tell you just this. In the last week and a half, she was here on the weekends, late at night, 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, midnight, with her daughter here with her. So she had her daughter here, and she was that committed to making sure this got done. And she's an amazing mother, and she's an amazing finance director for this New York City Council. Yay, mothers. Yes. I would also like to thank Chuck Davis and the Appointments and Investigations Unit, as well as our great Ethics Counsel, Patrick Bradford, and the Office of the General Counsel for vetting all of the groups receiving discretionary funding in the budget today. Thank you so, so much. I think that's the first time we've ever done a program. I want to highlight a few other things that I think are important for us, and there are many, many uh, great things in this budget, but there are a few things that I want to I want to just uh, recognize that we all should be very, very proud of. We have been planting seeds in this budget for tomorrow by helping young people. And where is the chair of our Youth Services Committee, Debbie Rose? She's sitting right here in front of me. She has been relentless, tireless, incredible throughout this entire process. On the, outs uh, on the outside game, on the steps of City Hall and meeting with advocates, and on the inside, yelling and screaming at BNT about young people. A pain in the neck in a good way, because we got results. We got for Compass, which is gonna help elementary school after school programs across the city, $14.2 million. We restored, we restored $15 million for 22,800 slots for summer programs for students in middle school citywide. We increased the council's deep and long commitment, especially from the Black, Latino, and Asian Caucus on summer youth employment, getting an additional $10.3 million to increase available jobs for young people this summer to 75,000 jobs, plus an increase in the minimum wage for those folks in the program. We restored $19 million for the Work, Learn, Grow Jobs program for this next year, providing in-school career readiness training and paid employment opportunities to teens and young adults year-round. That is a lot of good stuff for the young people of New York City. We got some great essential services for New Yorkers. Um, I want to thank uh, Chair Carlos Menchaca of the Immigration Committee. I don't know if he's here or not here. Um, but we got $12 million to fund adult literacy programs citywide, which this council really, really believes in. Oh, he's right over there. Congratulations, Carlos. Uh, we, $12.3 million to increase the number of parks maintenance workers, extending the open period for city pools and beaches, and financing tree stump removal. I want to thank Chair Grudenchik and former chair of the Parks Committee, Mark Levine, for their leadership on this. 
uh, uh, Jimmy Van Bramer, uh, $60 million in new library capital funds and $16.7 million in additional new funding for city libraries, all three systems, more than what the library systems actually asked for. We got them more than that, and so I'm really glad for that. We got an additional $3.5 million for extra sanitation services uh, across the city where there is a high need and we strengthen the social safety net. Besides the money that the city is going to have to put forward for significant NYCHA repairs in the future, we got $40 million in increased infrastructure funding for NYCHA. We increased the number of supportive housing units. I want to thank uh, Chair Amprey Samuel for her amazing work on public housing throughout this entire, entire process. On supportive housing, we got an increase uh, of permanent supportive housing units. Previously, the commitment was 500 units a year. We moved that up to 700 units a year, and we're going to get it done more quickly. And we are getting a very big building in Steve Levin's district that is going to provide a significant number of new supportive housing units for the uh, for the homeless uh, individuals across New York City who have had such a hard time. I want to thank Steve for his leadership on this. Runaway Homeless Youth, $3 million to create 60 new shelter beds for young LGBT folks from the ages of 21 to 24 years old. Richie Torres, Vanessa Gibson, Rafael Salamanca, Steve Levin, Danny Drum, and the LGBT caucus deserve credit on that. The Emergency Food Assistance Program, the highest number ever for EFAP, feeding hungry New Yorkers in food pantries that are not in the network, for the Food Bank of New York City, for City Harvest. We know that in the wealthiest city in the United States of America, too many people are still going hungry in our city. And this money is going to help feed so many New Yorkers. I am so proud of this funding, getting it baselined, getting an increase, the council investing on our own side. And this has been a labor of love between Barry Grudenchik and Steve Levin, and I am really proud of them uh, for this. Senior affordable housing, we got a $500 million commitment for senior affordable housing targeted into four HPD development sites and new ni two NYCHA sites throughout the city. This is an issue that East Brooklyn congregations and Metro IIF have been organizing around for years. The entire BLAC deserves a lot of credit on this, and I want to thank them for their leadership. So this is a good budget, and it's a budget that everyone should feel proud of and should feel good about. I didn't go through everything. I'm sure many members are going to talk about things that are important to them, but those are some of the things that I am, I am most proud of. So those are, that's the good part. Here's the bad part. Last but absolutely, absolutely not least, Ramon Martinez. Where is he? I mean, what can I say about him? He is a legend. He is an institution. He has dedicated a significant part of his life to this institution. He is someone who I have relied upon for the last five and a half months, seven days a week, probably more than 50 times a day. He has served every speaker of this body, from Peter Vallone to Gifford Miller to Christine Quinn to Melissa Mark Viverito to now me. And his departure is a huge, serious loss for this institution. We love him most of the time. <laughs> we will miss him. I am very happy for him and his family. I wish him well in his next act. He can tell you privately how I almost passed out when he told me that he was leaving. I looked like I had seen a ghost. But even with his impending departure, he has worked day in and day out here throughout this entire budget process, here most nights until 10, 11 o'clock at night, midnight, back here at 6 o'clock in the morning, being responsive to every member of this body on everything that matters to them and their districts. He has the respect, I believe, of every member of this body, of all of the former speakers that he served under and of all the former council members that he helped throughout the years. And because he has the respect and gratitude of all of us, he should have the respect and gratitude 
of all 8.6 million New Yorkers because he has delivered on behalf of every neighborhood of this city, on every council district of this city, on every borough in this city. He has been someone who has told me things I haven't wanted to hear, but he's done it in a completely professional way. I am still in a total state of denial. Literally, it's hard to even talk about this. And so I uh, am very grateful. Before we give him a round of applause, For the invisible, for the invisible chief of staff, we're presenting him with an invisible proclamation today. We love you, Ramon Martinez. Okay, he's gonna get upset. The, the, uh, if, folk, if, if folks don't quiet down, Ramon's gonna amend Schedule C and Rezo A. Look. <laughs> Madam Majority Leader, I believe that concludes my time in my speaker's remarks today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Speaker Johnson. And Ramon, if I would have known it was your last day, I would have gotten you flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Supplemental discussion of general orders. I'm still in shock. Um, could you repeat that, Madam Majority Leader? Supplemental discussion of general orders. Uh, coupled on uh, general orders. Oh no, keep going. Supplemental report on special committees. None. Supplemental report of standing committees. Report of the Committee on Finance, pre-considered M60 and Reso 400 through M62 and Reso 402 budget, mo budget modifications and the Chancellor's capital plan. Coupled on general orders. Pre-considered Reso 397, 398, and 399, base percentage, base proportion, and organization funding. Coupled on general orders. M42 and Reso 403 and 404, expense, revenue, contract, budget. Coupled on general orders. M43 and resolutions 405 and 406, executive capital budget. Coupled on general orders. M44 and Reso 407, Community Development Program. Coupled of general orders. Pre-considered M64 and Reso 408, fixing the tax rate. Coupled of general orders. Pre-considered LU 122 and Reso 409 through pre-considered LU 125 and Reso 412, tax exemptions. Coupled of general orders. M45 through M48, various budget documents. A couple to be filed, and at this time, I would like to ask for a roll call vote on all of the items on today's supplemental general order calendar voting on this year's fiscal budget. Adams. Permission to explain my vote. As a member, one of the newest members of this New York City Council, this great New York City Council, a member of the budget negotiation team and the finance committee, I must say this is one of my proudest hours in life. Mega congratulations to our speaker, Corey Johnson, for groundbreaking, groundbreaking 
uh, legislation that will take here take place here today to our finance division, led by our Olivia Pope, Latanya mm -hmm. McKinney. Mm -hmm. All of our committees, all of our constituents, our grassroots organization, we do this work because of you. And we proudly, proudly stand here because of you. You strengthen us. We do this for you. I proudly, without hesitation, vote I on all. Congratulations on your first budget. Ampri Samuel. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. I just want to say, um, just echo what um, Councilmember Adams said and just give a special shout out to LaTanya for her amazing work. And she know exactly what I mean by saying, you go, my sister. She know exactly what I'm talking about. And um, just a special shout out to her team. But I also want to recognize my own budget director, Everton Smith, for his uh, amazing strength and his personality and character. I love you, Everton. We were able to get through this together. And I look forward to the next years. And so with that, I vote aye. Thank oh, you. Wait, 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 wait. Ayala. Oh, sorry, I got to go back. Sorry. I am disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that Maho Bridges Academy is funded in the budget we are adopting, and my brother is associated with this entity, and that Central Brooklyn Economic Development Corporation is funded in this budget we are adopting, and my brother is associated with this entity. And with that, I vote aye. Thank you. Ayala. Hi, I vote aye, and I am also disclosing on the record of the City Council proceedings that Park East High School is funded in this budget that we're adopting, and my child is a student at Park East High School, and that AHRC is funded in this budget that we are adopting, and my partner is associated with this entity. Thank you. Baron. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you. Uh, first, I want to, I'm disclosing on the record of the Council proceedings that Man Up is funded in the budget we are adopting, and I am associated with this entity. And secondly, in regards to the budget, I am so pleased with what we have done here as a body. Uh, I don't know, as I've looked at what we have done, that there's anything that I have hesitation or reservations about. And you know, I have a very critical uh, posture that I generally take. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm really very pleased with all of the work that my colleagues have put in under the leadership of our speaker, Corey Johnson, the great document that we have produced, because it tells us a budget is a reflection of what you really think is important for the people. And this is a document of which we can be extremely proud. So I vote aye on all. I'm especially pleased. I want to also thank Ramon. Ramon, where are you? Uh, for, for the assistance that you gave. I wish you nothing but the best as you move on and do whatever it is that you want to do. And people think that you know you've got this hard exterior, and that may be, but we know that inside you really work very hard for the people, and we do appreciate that, all the work that you do on behalf. And I don't know how you recall all the things that 50 people and the speaker bring to you to do, but you always respond, and we thank you for that. And I'm especially pleased that we were able to raise the money that's going to CUNY Child Care Centers to $600,000. It's very important. We've maintained the Valone Scholarship Funds, and I just have great expectations for this city moving forward that we'll be able to implement all the things that we want to do and make great improvements so that the social justice issues will be resolved as well and that we can move forward on that. Thank you very much. Thank you. A stamp of approval from Councilmember Barron is perhaps the highest order you can receive. Speaker Corey Johnson. Did someone record what Inez just said? Thank you, Inez. Borelli. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. This is like the confessional in Catholic school. It's, uh, I'm disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that the College of Staten Island is funded in the budget we are adopting and I am associated with this entity and PS1 is funded in the budget we're adopting and my wife is an employee of this entity. Uh, with that said, I just want to congratulate Ramon on his new uh, job and uh, congratulate the speaker on his first budget. But, but Ramon, I just want to say politicians get uh, you know grief for being yes men sometimes and the, the true geniuses in this business are the ones who could say no just the right way and, 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 and do it correctly. And uh, thank you very much for uh, being a friend. Uh, I vote aye on all except pre-considered 397, 388, 408, and M64. 
Thank you. Brennan. Uh, permission to explain my vote. Very excited. Permission granted. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very, very excited to be voting on my first budget as an elected official, uh, one that strengthens our city's uh, social safety net for the poorest New Yorkers, also looks out uh, for seniors, homeowners, young people. It's really got something for everybody, and it's fiscally prudent, which is uh, great. Congratulations um, to the entire finance team that works hard behind the scenes. Uh, obviously, to Speaker Corey Johnson um, for including all of us in this budget in a real transparent and fair way, and to Ramon Martinez, who uh, is my constituent, and I'm proud to say that he is. Thank you. Thank you. And how do you vote? Oh, aye on all. Thank you. Cabrera. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. I am disclosing on the record of the council proceeding that Kiss Bay Boys and Girls Club is funded in the budget we are adopting. I, I am associated with uh, this entity. Also, I'd like to give a special thanks to our speaker. Let me just say, I, I've been here, this is my ninth budget. I'm still trying to catch up to Karen uh, Casuet. I think this is her 15th. Right? 20th. 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 I'm cutting you short. Two decades. Uh, I have never spoken at this moment uh, when we get to speak during the budget because I was never really fully content with the budget. This budget has been nothing but amazing. To see also the way you gather us together. Uh, the delegations, so proud of all the delegations working together. The BNT, you guys were simply amazing. Uh, to see uh, all the finance staff, Ramon, uh, thank you for bearing with all my screaming and howling about uh, certain things. Uh, but in particular, I want to thank you for the community boards. You, what the mayor was not willing to do, you did. I just got off talking to 51, 50 chairs of community boards, and they wanted to express to you and to my colleagues, thank you for supporting them. They feel affirmed. They feel supported. They feel like the work that they're doing, it matters. I salute you. I thank you. This is the best budget I have ever seen here in the council. Thank you so much. And with that, I vote aye and all. And thank you for your work on community boards. Jin. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you. Um, first of all, I also wanted to add my voice to congratulate our speaker and Chair Drum on your leadership and determination on this great, fair, responsible budget. And personally, I think that Corey you made us proud because you fought for us, right, with the administration. And as the chair of the aging committee, when the administration failed to recognize that a thousand seniors are still on waiting lists for case management, guess what? City council and you stepped up. The city council this year stepped up for our seniors because Senior centers were telling us that yes, last year we did fantastic with the year of the senior and we got the model budget baseline money, but the model budget did not include the meal reimbursement or raises for the kitchen staff. And all along we've been telling the administration, you need to take care of that. They didn't, but the council with our speaker stepped up and we're going to take care of some of it. But I hope that the administration will continue to work with us and listen to us and make sure that our seniors are taken care of. And so I thank you, Speaker, uh, for supporting all the capital projects in my district, uh, especially the Seaport Museum and the Museum of Chinese in America. Uh, also, I wanted to thank all the finance staff, especially Latanya, uh, Regina, Doheny, Daniel, uh, for always watching out for seniors and making sure that I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Ramon, Ramon, I know you for nine years, and Ramon, thank you for not cursing in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I wish you the best. 
I truly do, and I, I am going to miss you. And thank you so much for all your help. And finally, I just wanted to thank my Deputy Chief of Staff, Vincent Fang. This is his third budget, and he's leaving me to go to law school. But he worked so hard for our district, and I wanted to thank him. Vincent. Oh, I vote. I have to uh, disclose on the record uh, that PS3 is funded in this budget because it's, it's in the speaker's district, that funded in the budget that we are adopting. And my husband, Alan Chong, is a teacher, a proud teacher in that school. And I vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you. Important to make Margaret happy. <laughs> Cohen. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you. Uh, I just really want to say that it is a privilege to work with the council's finance staff. I want to say congrats to our speaker and to our finance chair, Danny Drum. Uh, and I want to say thank you to Ramon for his service. And with that, I vote aye. Thank you. Constantinidis. I be excused to explain my vote. Permission granted. All right, so let me, I, I am disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that PS85Q is funded in the budget we are adopting, and my child is a student at PS85. I also am disclosing that PS151Q is funded in the budget we are adopting, and my wife is associated with this entity. I really want to congratulate our speaker, uh, Corey Johnson, uh, you know, for really not only the, what we were able to accomplish with this budget, but the way you went about this budget the way you made sure that every member felt part of it, the way you fought as hard as you possibly could for the things that mattered for all New Yorkers and took the big picture view from day one that set the tone. Um, so congratulations, Speaker. Congratulations, Finance Chair Danny Drum, Latanya McKinney, to all my colleagues, and to Ramon Martinez, who I've known 13 years. I met him on Christmas Eve of 2006 when I was a staffer. I, I appreciate the fact that <laughs> that said it all. I, I appreciate that you always said that you told us the truth, whether we wanted to hear it or not. Never be asked me. I am grateful for that. Thank you for your service to the people of the city of New York, Ramon. You'll be sorely missed. And how do you vote? Oh, I vote aye on all. Thank you. Deutsch. Uh, thank you very much. Um, before I ask, uh, ask you to permission to explain my vote, I just want to, I'm disclosing for the record of the council proceedings that I am a close friend with the majority leader who's presiding in today's meetings. So I just want to ask you now if, uh, can, I, can I explain my vote? Permission to explain your vote. Thank you. So um, I'm disclosing for the record of the council proceedings that Brooklyn College is funded in the budget we are adopting and my children are students at the school. And I just want to uh, thank um, our our great speaker, uh, Corey Johnson, for listening um, to our concerns, the concerns in our districts and responding. And as a Orthodox Jew, and as a, a person who uh, observes the dietary laws and only eats kosher, I'm proud to say that we have brought back the pork into our district. So thank you very much. And how do you vote? Uh, I and all. Thank you. Diaz. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you. <clears throat> Madam Chair, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to disclose on the record of the council that my son, Ruben Diaz Jr., is currently serving as the Bronx Board of President, and the budget that we are adopting funds the Bronx from many of its programs, and that my other son, Samuel, uh, work for, for NACHA is funded on the budget that we are adapting, and my other son Samuel is, is associated with that entity too. Thank Saying you. that, Madam Lady, Madam Chair, I came here six months ago and I was expecting different things. Uh, I'm proud, I'm proud of the family that I have met. I'm proud that when I came as a black Puerto Rican with a kinky hair and a broken English, I met Ramon, one of, um, one of, uh, one of my race, not only a well-prepared person, but also uh, knowledgeable of what he was doing. And I'm proud, I was proud. Uh, a Hispanic was 
the second or one of the highest, is Ramon was the highest person, Hispanic, in, in the administration. Now Ramon is leaving, Hispanic would be left with, with nobody. I hope that the speaker notice this. We all feel proud with one of our own get to places. I'm Puerto Rican, Ramon is not Puerto Rican, but I'm Hispanic, and Ramon is Hispanic, and I'm so proud that to have met Ramon, he's open policy door, respectful to, every, to everyone, and to me and to the Hispanic community, losing Ramon in this chamber, in this body, is a great, great, great loss. So I want to leave that clear with that. I would like to vote yes in all except pre-resolution 397, 398, resolution 408, and 64. Mr. Speaker, thank you for all the respect and love that you have shown to me. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, the Chairman of the, of the, of the uh, Finance Committee, thank you for also for the respect you are showing and the, the treatment that you offered to me and to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Drum. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. Thank you very much. And I would like to start off by also thanking our speaker. He has done a fantastic job of bringing this body together and really producing a budget which all New Yorkers can be proud of. Um, he has been so wonderful to me personally, and uh, I love him an awful lot. And I think that all New York will benefit from the work that he has done here in the council. His strategy of, of you know, uh, aiming for several large-scale programs for fair fares, for um, 225 million in uh, reserves. Um, it has been a very smart move for this council. Um, you know, $125 million in funding that will go into school budgets, $150 million in capital funding for disabled students, $2 million to make sure that our neediest schools have at least one guidance counselor. So important to get students into college and to deal with the issues that they bring with them on a daily basis into our schools. $15 million to restore Summer Sonic. Um, $2 million for LGBT community services, $16 million for district attorney's office, $1.8 million for trans equity programs, and the list goes on and on. This is a truly progressive uh, budget, one that really protects the social safety net, as was promised by the speaker. He's a man of his word, and I want to thank him. I, of course, want to thank all of the members of the Finance Committee, Latanya McKenney, I also want to thank Rebecca Chasen, everybody else. I don't have enough time to thank all the names. I want to thank Ramon Martinez as well for his guidance. For the nine years that I've been here in the council, he's a friend and I love him very much as well. Uh, and just want to say for me, this has been a real journey of personal growth and I'm just so proud to be a part of this council. And finally, let me also thank my staff back in the district office, Carolyn Tran, Evia Cardoso, Sebastian McGuire, Michael Mallon, Kevin Yee and Jacqueline Cosme for keeping the, the ship afloat while uh, I was here in the council. And finally, to Melanie Herzog, uh, the budget director, the OMB budget director on her first budget as well. Thank you very much, Madam Majority Leader. Thank you, and we thank you for your leadership. Rodriguez. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. First of all, I need to disclose, for disclosure to say that my daughter is a member of the Association of Dominican Classical Artists and also the swimming team of Ask for Green, a, a institution that are funded with the budget that we are adopting today. Second, I would like to thank Latania, members of finance, the finance chair, Danny Drone, Ramon, thank you for your years serving our body and also the city. And as Speaker Johnson, you know, the good things about this budget is that we didn't lose anything. We just added. And your leadership, uh, being sure that we est est were able to establish fair fair, I know that only is defining your leadership in this body for the next four years and for more years to come. So with that, thank you. And I vote aye. Thank you. 
Espinal. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. I'm disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that CUNY is funded in the budget we are adopting, and my brother, along with the 200 other thousand students, is a student at CUNY. Um, and I also uh, just want to uh, congratulate the speaker on the phenomenal job he's done in getting this budget passed. As everyone said and stated all the reasons on why this is a great budget, uh, I have to say I'm not surprised. I didn't expect any less. So I'm just feeling good about what he was able to accomplish, and congratulations on all your success and all of us here in the body as well. And also, I just want to uh, tell Ramon uh, he will be missed greatly uh, from helping me navigate the East New York rezoning to helping me uh, making sure that New York is able to dance again. He's always been by my side. So thank you, Ramon, for all of that and whatever. <laughs> and how do you vote, council member? <laughs> I vote aye. Thank you. Eugene. May I have the permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, we all know that the budget is a great budget, but it is a wonderful budget because of the leadership of uh, Speaker Johnson, who is a shining star. Thank you very much, and congratulations, Speaker Johnson, and congratulations also to the team and all the finance team especially Latanya and uh, all of you, my colleagues from BMT, thank you very much. This is a wonderful budget that addresses uh, the core issues of all New Yorkers and also that will fulfill the need of all of our constituents living in New York City and will increase the quality of life. And to Ramon, mi cubano, mi hermano cubano, Ramon, thank you so very much I cannot count how many times that I come to you for advice when I'm dealing with an issue that I don't know what to do. You have been always there for me, and I know for many other members also, and giving me the right information, the right advice that always helped me move on in everything that I've been doing. Thank you very much. Good luck. And God bless you, and God bless your family. Thank you. With that, I vote aye in order. Thank you. Gibson. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you, Madam Majority Leader. Good afternoon to all of my colleagues, and I too want to join the chorus in just expressing my sincere appreciation to our phenomenal speaker. Job well done. I want to thank our speaker for his commitment, his compassion, and his consistency. I want to thank him for his passion, for recognizing his purpose, and executing a plan for all New Yorkers. This is truly a budget that we can all be so proud of. And I'm so honored and privileged to serve in this body. I'm honored to serve as the chair of the new subcommittee on capital. We've done phenomenal work in the area of capital as the speaker has alluded to on uh, rescindments of excess appropriations and stopping the front loading. And we have much more to come with this subcommittee. Most of this work could not have been done without a collective village, and I want to thank the village of the finance unit, led by Latanya McKinney, and I want to recognize the deputy directors, Regina Pareda Ryan and Nathan Toll. Thank you for helping me as a new chair to navigate this system. I appreciate you walking with me and working with me, and I want to thank our council, uh, Rebecca Chasen, and all of the finance staff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to recognize our amazing finance Chair Danny Drum, congratulations on your first budget. You did well. Thank you so much. We have done amazing work, colleagues, and we should be proud. We stood firm. We never lost sight of what was important. We never, never lost focus. We stood tall among many, and we listened to New Yorkers. And everything that we've talked about, from fair fares to fair student funding, the school accessibility, summer youth, which was a personal priority of mine, shout out to Councilmember Rose, the Summer Sonic and Compass, adult literacy, guidance counselors in our schools, capital money for libraries and expense. The speaker kept his promise and showed love to the Bronx by giving money for Orchard Beach, so I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for the Bronx Museum and the Bronx Museum of the Arts and the Bronx Children's Museum. I'm looking forward to much work ahead, and this is really a testament in your first year, Corey, of your leadership, and it has been an honor working with you. You are my friend, and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart my heart. I proudly vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Gibson. Joan, I. 
Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. First of all, let me just continue with the uh, accolades for our speaker um, at the helm. Thank you for mastering the art of negotiations and keeping true to your promise and commitment. This was an incredible process, and I'm just so grateful to have been able to be a part of it uh, alongside of the many colleagues here. Uh, to Councilman Drum and the staff and council leadership, congratulations. I'm sure you're all due for a long summer vacation, and our speaker's gonna make that possible. To Ramon Martinez, your loss it is a loss to this, in, the, this institution is going to feel your loss. Wherever you go, it'll certainly be their gain. And I am a man of God and I believe there is one. I hope wherever that is that they require you to wear a suit and tie. <laughs> <laughs> and in the words that I can repeat of the famous or infamous or the myth or the legend himself, whatever and boom. I vote aye on all with the exception of resolution 397, 398, 408, and M64. Oh, and also, if I can disclose, I am disclosing on a record uh, on the council proceeding that PS175 funded in the budget we are adopting. My wife is associated with the entity, the Department of Education, uh, that is being funded in a budget. We are adopting. My sister is associated with the entity. Cooney is funded in the budget. We are adopting, and my son attends Cooney. And Bronx Parent Housing Network is funded in the budget. We are adopting, and my brother is associated with this non for profit. Thank you. Thank you. Holden. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. I am disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that CUNY is funded in this budget that we are adopting, and my son is an employee of this entity. Also, New York Presbyterian Hospital is funded in the budget that we are adopting, and my son is associated with this entity. And finally, at Sunnyside Community Services is funded in the budget, and we are adopting this, and uh, my mother is associated with this entity. Uh, I've been on the uh, city council for six months, and I met an amazing man, Danny Drum, who has been here constantly during these hearings, an amazing guy. Uh, he probably slept here in uh, 250 because every meeting that I attended, he was there, and he was, he's been there the whole day. Um, and to Corey, thanks for answering my late night texts, even though they're somewhat ridiculous, you still answered them. And um, you're an amazing speaker, uh, an amazing politician, an amazing leader. I thank you for your service, and hopefully you'll be mayor one day. Um, I know that's, but I know that hopefully, think about it. <laughs> um, also, I want to thank Karen Koslowitz. I'll break that right there. All right, go on. Karen Koslowitz, who I've known since the 50s. Right, Karen? <laughs> All right, 80s. <laughs> All right, 80s. Karen's been a friend. Um, going back, way back to the Andy Stein days, and uh, I want to thank Karen for her leadership on the Queen's delegation. And Ramon, thank you so much for your uh, leadership, for guidance, and thanks for only yelling at me once in six months. Thanks so much. And I want to vote aye on all except 397, 398, M64, accompanied by Resolution 408. Thank you. Thank you. Brennan. Uh, I wanted to uh, change my vote. I'm voting aye on all except for pre-considered Reso 397, 398, uh, M64, and 408. Thank you. Gordenchik. I was getting worried there. Um, Madam uh, Majority Leader, may I explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you. Uh, first, uh, I, I know as the speaker has noted on occasion that I am a man of few words. Um, <laughs> my, some of my colleagues may disagree on that. I am disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that Queens College is funded in this budget we are adopting and my son is newly enrolled at Queens College. I have also recently driven on newly repaved streets in my district. I'm a card-carrying member of the Queensboro Public Library, and I used the men room, men's room this week 
at PS 18Q, all of which are funded in this budget. Uh, too much information, you're right. Um, I want to start off by saying that uh, I want to thank the speaker, uh, and I really want to thank him, and I want to thank um, Danny, and I want to thank Vanessa as well. Um, the second, the first press conference the speaker held um, right after he became speaker, the second thing that he mentioned was emergency food. And before people get on the subway, before they get to school, before they go to their summer job, before they do all those things that we as New Yorkers love, before they love those parks and use those parks, which we added almost $17 million in funding to, they have to be well fed. And Mr. Speaker, on behalf of myself and the hundreds of thousands, if not a million persons who are going to benefit because the funding was doubled, was baseline funding was more than doubled and we we're spending almost $25 million on emergency food in this budget. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and you have my undying gratitude on that among many, many other things. I would be remiss if I did not mention my partner in good deeds, Mr. Steve Levin, who sits behind me and he has been absolutely wonderful. I also want to thank the Food Bank for New York City for their partnership and Rachel Sabella, who doesn't work there anymore, but she's been a hero of mine. Um, I have to say thank you to LaTanya and the entire finance staff for answering all my questions, even though some of them were quite, uh, just didn't understand a few things here and there. So thank you. Um, Ramon, I would tell a story or two, but this is a G-rated channel. So um, I just want to say thank you. Uh, we're both kids from Queens. And uh, we've grown up a little in the intervening years, um, but uh, my undying thanks to you and Godspeed wherever you may be going, although I think that's somewhere on the internet by now as well. Um, <laughs> lastly, I, I'm, I'm going into overtime, uh, Majority Leader. Uh, this, is the, this is the last meeting uh, that my Deputy Chief of Staff and Budget Director, Dev Awasti, will be with us. He will be entering uh, the University of Connecticut's law school this coming on August 20th. He's leaving me flat, um, just like Margaret Chin's uh, Deputy Chief of Staff. But I did want to acknowledge him. He's done a great job for the people of the 23rd District, and I will miss him very, very much. With that, I think he deserves a round of applause. With that, I vote aye on all, and I thank you for your indulgence. Thank you. Baron. Thank you. I'm disclosing on the record of the Council Proceedings that Mega Evers College is funded in the budget we are adopting, and my son is associated with that entity. Thank, Thank you. you. King. May I permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. I rise today uh, in the last time to honor Ramon Martinez, who is the fixer of the New York City Council, but also the librarian of the New York City Council. If all those of us who've been here under his tutelage, we've learned, we've grown, we found out where the bathroom was on day one, not day two, and he's been a very instrumental in guiding all of us and figure out how to get things done in this, as a city council member. So to Ramon, I say thank you. <laughs> to the Finance Committee, it doesn't get done if y'all don't crunch the numbers and help us get these things on the spreadsheet. So thank you to all, each and every one of you for late nights, but more importantly to the guidance of everyone in the council who spent countless hours trying to figure out what was best for the city of New York to transform all our residents and our constituents. Two, the speaker who came in and set a new and great tone to help us get th things done without going into the late night hours of June. I want to say thank you on behalf of me, Borelli, and a few others in here. Someone said, we want to congratulate you. With that, I vote aye. Thank you, Councilmember King. Cool. <laughs> May I explain my vote? Permission granted. So I want to congratulate all my colleagues on another successful budget season. Uh, we have many big wins in this budget for New Yorkers. Uh, we succeeded in creating fair fares, which is an important benefit for low-income uh, New Yorkers. As, as technology committee chair, I especially want to thank Quiet in the chambers. Speaker Corey Johnson 
uh, for commitment uh, to technology through digital inclusion and digital equity initiatives. Uh, these two initiatives will go a long way in ensuring that New Yorkers are ready for the 21st century. I'm especially happy to see the creation of the Property Tax Reform Commission so that we can finally start a dialogue about how homeowners can continue to enjoy life in the Big Apple without having to fear whether or, or not uh, their next height will push them over the edge of affordability. Now it's time for fair property tax reform. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Finance Chair uh, Danny Drum, and the Delegation Chair uh, Karen Kostowitz, and Natalia McKin uh, McKinney, Sebastian Bacci, and the entire Finance dis Division. And the Council will be, will be especially um, sad that um, Ramon Martinez is leaving us. So I, I hope he will enjoy his new endeavor. I think, but he will miss us. <laughs> <laughs> oh? I'm sure you will miss us. <laughs> so uh, whatever you do, we, uh, we wish you the best. And thank you, everyone. Thank you. I think you are correct, Council Member. Yeah, I, I will, I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. Kozlowitz. May I be excused to explain my vote? Permission granted. I have said this many times. This is my 20th budget. And let me tell you something. It is my best budget. It was done in such a professional way. I want to thank the speaker for giving us back our institution. This budget went fast, faster than before. The only budget dance we had this time was Debbie Rose, who danced in her chair whenever she got something for our children. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only budget dance we had. Corey, thank you for everything. I think you made every New Yorker happy. I know I have been getting calls and texts from people thanking me for everything. We love you, love you. And to Ramon, I know Ramon probably close to 30 years when he had hair. <laughs> And I loved him then, and I love him now. I know this isn't goodbye, but I wish you the best of luck. I know I will see you again. And to LaTanya and the finance staff, you are terrific. Really terrific. You really came through. You were there for us, answering all our questions when we had them. And to Danny Drum. My good friend for many years, Danny, you were wonderful. Thank you so very much. And to my budget director, Amanda Menachini. Thank you for being there for me. Sometimes I drove her crazy, but she went through it. And thank you for everything you do. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you. Can you Lander. Request permission to explain. Permission granted. Thank you very much. Uh, I also proudly vote aye on all on this budget. Um, uh, Corey uh, Rebecca Kostichenko from PS321, who you've spoken about, is a resident of my district in that school. Is and what it means that a person can come here and wait their turn to testify and be last and still get heard in a way that changes the budget in a profound and meaningful way is really something. So thank you. 
Um, it's also not lost on me that Shani Rahman is a member of Fast Food Justice, which we helped to create by making it possible for fast food workers to work together. And when people organize, good things happen. That is really encouraging. I'm also pleased this budget is supporting the young people of Integrate NYC who do so much amazing work. Um, and I'm especially excited about the Wild Turkey Relocation Program. <laughs> Uh, you know, I think the fact that in this chamber the Republicans work hard at humane solutions to problems and we vote on and support them together is pretty special. So I want to say thank you and congrats to the minority leader. A uh, big thank you to the finance staff, of course. Uh, Ramon, uh, I feel like Stockholm Syndrome or something, you know, where the captives come to love the, the captor. I, I'm thinking about the... <laughs> I'm thinking about those times when Chris like ripped me a new one and, and you were there to like scrape me off the floor and like get me out of the room with my dignity not quite intact. Um, uh, there is no one who has done more to steward this institution uh, and its role under the charter in our city than you and as a member of it I am deeply grateful. So thank you so much for all that work. Um, I am disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that Bard High School Early College is funded in the budget that we're adopting. Uh, and my daughter Rosa is a student there. That Planned Parenthood of New York City is funded in this budget and that my wife works there. And that Women for Afghan Women, which is a really extraordinary organization helping Afghan refugees in New York City and supporting their families uh, back over there is funded in the budget. Uh, and my wife is on the board of that organization. Uh, thank you so much again and I proudly vote aye on all. Thank you. Levin. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. Thank you, Madam Majority Leader. I am disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that CUNY is funded in the budget and we are adopting and my wife, Ann Carroll, is associated with CUNY. Um, I want to take this opportunity to thank our amazing finance staff, Latanya McKinney, Regina Pareda Ryan, Dohini Sampora, Namira Nuzhat, Daniel Krupp, Nathan Toth, Kenny Grace, Caitlin O'Hagan, James Reyes, Paul Simone, Rebecca Chasen, Emery Adev, Ray Majeski, Aisha Wright, uh, Krillian Francisco, Elizabeth Hoffman, Chima Obadere, and all of the other uh, finance staff uh, for your amazing hard work in this budget. Um, I want to thank my staff, uh, Budget Director Edward Parlino, Jonathan Boucher, Elizabeth Adams, um, Speaker, uh, Chair Drum, and Chair Gibson. This budget um, has had a real impact on members of the City Council as we've been talking about this over the last week. And, um, and that's, 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 that's unusual. Uh, and I've been thinking about why that is. People have had an emotional reaction to this budget. And I think it's because, what well, you said, Speaker, where it's what, what we got into this in the first place for. Um, everyone here, every staff member here got into this line of work to help people. And this budget um, helps people. This budget, whether it's Fair Fairs, whether it's EFAP, and I want to congratulate Barry Grudenchik, um, Supportive Housing, Summer Sonic, Bridging the Gap Social Workers, all of the senior programs, the youth programs, everything that you have done, Speaker, in this budget has been geared towards helping New Yorkers. And, um, and as Councilmember Barron said, it's a reflection of who we are as a city, and we can all be very proud of that. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and as uh, representative of the 33rd District uh, for your uh, passion uh, to the things that matter in this city. Thank you. And um, to Ramon Martinez, um, you know, in the last eight and a half years, and I'll just ask for a couple more seconds, um, I can't even count the number of times that, uh, that Ramon has has helped uh, me and, by extension, uh, the residents of the 33rd District. Uh, there are really too many times to count, uh, and he's been uh, a real uh, bedrock for this council uh, during, uh, during good times and bad times. And uh, I know that he's done that for um, innumerable council members, and, uh, and he really is, uh, he's always looked out for the, the integrity of this body and um, for uh, the institution itself, and, uh, and I, I think that we have a lot to be grateful for. So Ramon, thank you for everything on behalf of, uh, on behalf of the residents of the 33rd District. Greatly appreciate it, thank you. And with that, I vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you.
Levine. Thank you. Permission to briefly explain my vote, Madam Majority Leader? Permission granted. Excellent. Well, I want to start by acknowledging the absolutely relentless leadership of Speaker Johnson in negotiating a budget that I am so proud of, that we can all be so proud of, that is a huge win for the city. I'm so grateful for your leadership. And I want to acknowledge our phenomenal finance chair, Danny Drum, who really embodies what it means to uh, do budget making driven by values. Um, thank you for uh, the brand of leadership which you exemplify, Danny. And I am so thrilled about the wins for public health in this budget that are really going to impact the lives of, of immigrants who are, are struggling to navigate the health system and to access health care and, and New Yorkers living with HIV and low-income expectant mothers and many, many others. Um, I'm so proud of that impact for public health in the city. And it wouldn't have been possible without uh, the work of our world-class uh, finance team, uh, the awe-inspiring Latanya and Regina. And I have to give a shout out to Janet Merrill on the Health Committee's finance team who really broke through walls for us uh, to make great things happen for public health in this city. And Kenny Grace, who's uh, again and again and again and again delivered uh, for my office in my district, and we're grateful to him. And shout out to my Chief of Staff, Aya Keefe, and my Budget Director, Amy Slattery, uh, without whom uh, I could do none of the great things that we achieved together. And lastly, to uh, the City Council's own Mr. Sunshine. Yes, I'm talking about you, Ramon. Um, thank you for being an endless source of flattery and warmth and optimism and encouragement. I don't know where I'm going to get my moral support from now that you're gone. Councilmember Levine, we're supposed to have a truth on the floor of the New well, York City Council. I'm not, I'm not under oath. Uh, uh, but, but thank you. I will miss you terribly. And lastly, some formalities I need to disclose on the record of the council proceedings that Columbia Secondary School is funded in the budget we are adopting, and my child is a student at this school. And right on the two-minute mark, I am proud to say I will be voting aye on all. Thank you. Thank you, council member. Myself. Uh, permission not to explain my vote? <laughs> uh, I vote uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you for always keeping it brief. Menchaca. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you. Uh, so uh, the speaker, where is he? Um, he left. OK, I'll come back to him. Uh, there is so much pride for me right now as I look at this budget, because this is more and more becoming what it needs to be a people's budget. This budget has so many fingerprints from our neighborhoods that we represent, from fair fairs to the day laborers, the worker cooperatives, the adult literacy movement that grows every single year to prove a point that our communities need education, to our new uh, investment in libraries that are going to really be felt on the ground, and we are going to be there to shepherd that commitment next year to our new expansion of the bail fund that we've been working so hard here in the city council to now include a new pilot for immigrant bail, which is gonna be a game changer as we continue to respond to the federal government, Trump's deportation machine. The $210 million of capital budget projects that came from the people of New York that were designed by our neighbors on the ground as young as sixth graders that are now so excited about their role in government and that all the people in our neighborhoods can vote no matter their immigration status. That doesn't, just, that doesn't just happen, that happens because of values and leadership. And it is this speaker that has continued to push that and I'm so proud. You texted me earlier and you asked me a question and I'm responding, yes, without a doubt. And so I wanna say that as we think about the future, uh, and we thank the finance team, and we thank uh, Councilmember Drum, our finance chair, and Vanessa Gibson, and all the council, and the BNT that works so hard, and the entire staff, um, I want to say, let's get ready for the next budget. Um, I think what we need to do is also remember that the kind of response that this budget allows us to do um, is true in its commitment to our immigrant families. And so I want to say thank you for that work. Um, and finally, I want to say, 
in my um, disclosure, Falcon Works, Artist Group Incorporated, uh, and Portside are uh, funded in the budget this year that we're adopting. And my domestic partner, uh, Ahmed, is associated with these entities. Thank you all. Thank you. Miller. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you so much, Madam Majority Leader. You're uh, welcome. First, like to begin, and, and my best to the Prince. Uh, <laughs> I first like to begin by disclosing on the record the council proceedings that the Alpha Phi Alpha Senior Center is funded in this budget and that my mother is a so associated with the Alpha Phi Alpha Senior Center. Um, so now, on behalf of myself, I will say that these last this session, while being the most productive uh, as a council for myself, uh, uh, has been very, very difficult uh, physically and emotionally. Uh, I'm just returning from medical leave and emotionally knowing that things that are going on that impact uh, our communities throughout the city. Um, on, as the co-chair of the Black, Latino, and Asian caucus, uh, knowing that there are a number of issues that, uh, and values that, that our communities are uh, concerned about and demand, it, it was just pressing on me. But knowing that, uh, that we had the type of leadership and uh, caucus that we had was, was able, allowed me to, to really feel comfortable about moving forward. Moving forward, and, and I will tell you that there were times that I put off the surgery to say that we have to do this, we have to do that, and certainly I am not leaving until the budget is done. Um, but I just couldn't hold out. Knowing that I had uh, my partners in government, my colleagues, such as Council Member Danny Drum, uh, and certainly the leader of our speaker, Corey Johnson, uh, that we were going to put forth a, a budget that reflected the needs and the values of the entire city of New York. And so I think that our, our values are certainly reflected here, and I am really excited by, by that. Latanya, to you and your team, thank you so much for all that you continually do. And uh, to Vanessa Gibson, thank you for your leadership as well. Uh, Ramon, thank you. Thank you for being uh, everything that others have said, but most of all, being the gatekeeper of the integrity of this great body here in your own unique way. So uh, good luck to you in all your future endeavors. And as we say that um, this budget truly reflects all on behalf of the uh, Muslim Empowerment uh, collective throughout the city of New York that for the first time is reflected in this budget. I would like to say Eid Mubarak to all. Thank you. And how do you vote? I vote. I, on all except for res pre-considered Reso 397 and 398. Thank you. Thank you. Moya. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Uh, I want to take this opportunity um, to really thank the speaker. Um, Quiet in the chambers. For being a, a first time council member here to see you work and fight so hard for all of us and the issues that matter most from fair fares to uh, funding our libraries to making sure that we had uh, suitable uh, funding streams for unaccompanied minors. Uh, your leadership has led the way for us to be a very strong body, and I'm just proud to be part of this today, and thank you for all that you've done. To Chair Drum, uh, he does yeoman's work. Uh, you have stood at every single one of these hearings. Uh, you led the way for this body, and we're extremely thankful for all of the great work that you have done, and to the finance staff, who without them, I don't think we get anything done. Uh, I'm just proud to be uh, part of this uh, team that we have here uh, and looking forward to a great future because millions of New Yorkers are going to benefit from uh, the budget that we have passed today. Uh, and to Ramon, uh, you're the backbone of this institution, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Good luck to you, my brother. And how do you vote? I vote aye on all. Thank you. Perkins. Thank you. Congratulations to everyone. 
Um, I've owned I own all. It's good to be back. Glad to have you back. Thank you. Miller. I'd like to add uh, preconsidered Reso 408. That will be voting no on as well. Thank you. Powers. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you. And I want to start. I, I will be voting aye. And I'm start by, start by disclosing on the record of the council that Mount Sinai is funded in this budget that we're adopting. And my mother is uh, associated with this uh, entity. Um, more importantly, as my first budget, I have to say, I've, it's been a very exciting experience. Congratulations also to all my colleagues who are, have the opportunity to work on and vote on their first budget. Of course, congratulations to the speaker on a, on a great budget as his first as a speaker. Um, I think it proves, uh, I think everybody somewhere here have found something in this budget that they, are, they can go back to their community and be very proud of. It has big citywide initiatives like Fair Fairs, which will help people rise out of poverty, but also all the sort of issues that we talk about in our communities that we can go back. Even I went to a community board meeting last night, and they were very happy with the community board money as well. Um, I, the one thing I said in finance committee I'd repeat again, which is that it's remarkable how some of this reflects things that we heard while sitting here and taking testimony. And I noted, I think uh, Councilman Lander brought it up, but the accessibility money was directly out of testimony from somebody who came here and came to the public testimony. Fair fares was because people who came and talked to us constantly about the need to cover the cost for those who are in poverty. Uh, many other of the colleagues here came to me and told me their personal stories, why this was important to their districts, and it became important uh, to us as we negotiated it. So I think it reflects so much of the stories that we hear in New York City every single day. Um, I wanted to say a very big thank you to, count, to the speaker for listening to the body and working through a budget to make sure all of our needs were met. I want to thank Councilmember Drom, somebody I love so much, who worked so hard and sat here through every single hearing to make sure that the needs were met of New York City. Thank you to the subcommittee chair, uh, Vanessa Gibson, as well, for really focusing on the capital budget. So thank you. I'm very, I'm very pleased. I think many of us are. And of course, wherever Ramon Martinez is right now, he is somebody that, as I entered the city council and was in awe and very, and very gracious to be able to join such a great institution, I knew that the people make the institution and that there are people here who make this institution great because they care about what the city council means, not just today, but in the future and in the past. And as Karen Cosworth votes on her 20th budget, she knows, just like many of us, how important that staff is to make sure to keep this going. So thank you to Ramon, wherever he is. I'm sure he's embarrassed by this entire day. He's in back uh, with you. He's behind me. <laughs> Don't take his picture. And, um, and to the finance staff, you guys are really the, under, you, the underappreciated heroes of these budgets that we do. And just like Danny Drum, you sit through so many of the testimonies here and do so much work. So thank you. Of course, I vote aye on the budget. Thanks. Reynoso. I vote aye on all. Richards. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. All right, first I'm disclosing on the record on the council proceedings that Challenge Prep Academy is funded in a budget we are adopting and my spouse is, is associated with this entity. And also we're funding Springfield Park in the budget where D3 plays on the swings. So I wanted to make sure I put that out there. I also wanted to congratulate uh, the speaker on his first budget and this budget surely is a reflection of all New Yorkers values. So I wanna congratulate you. I wanna congratulate the finance staff and also uh, my chief of staff, Manuel Silva, and my budget director, uh, Jordan Bishop, on a, on a job well done in this budget. Uh, and lastly, I'll close out by uh, just thanking Ramon Martinez for his friendship. I've been here 15 years now, and uh, it's my 15th budget, Karen, believe it or not. Um, but it's been an honor to work with him and to, to get to know him and to also seek advice from him. He's someone that uh, we've often been able to go to for advice, and both on uh, personal but, but also professional growth. So I want to thank him for his friendship, and I'll leave with, since we're doing uh, Ramon's Greatest Hits uh, today, I will uh, leave with one of his most infamous quotes, pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. So thank you, Ramon. Congratulations on your next endeavor. I've never I. heard that before. <laughs> thank you. Rivera. 
Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. So first, I want to disclose on the record of the counts on the council proceedings that the New York City Police Department is funded in the budget that we are adopting. And my mother is a 36-year employee of this entity. Very proud of her. She's probably on the M23 on her way home. So I want, of course, thank you, thank you to the speaker for your help and support in these first six months of my first year. I uh, voted for you on January 3rd, which was my birthday. And uh, very pleased that that gift has brought um, so much friendship and support from you. Of course, I got to thank Latanya and, and the analysts that we don't thank enough. People like Krillian and Jeanette and Sarah. Uh, of course, Nathan and Regina, thank you all for your assistance in passing my first budget as a council member. I remember being a staffer, participating, watching you all move, and learning from someone like Ramon. Ramon Martinez, enjoy whatever beach you're going to be streaming the next stated from. OK, just wear your sunscreen and put a hat on. Um, I know that the New York City Council will be in good hands with your next successor. And I just want to thank you for all of your work. Uh, the budget we passed, uh, I'm so proud of it. Food pantries and senior centers, environmental initiatives, quality of life, uh, the Lower East Side Girls Club, Health and Hospitals, New York Rican Poets Cafe, Anthology Film Archives, Parks and Schools. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you to my budget director, Katie Loeb, and thank you to all of my colleagues and the staff here uh, for making this seem as breezy as possible. I love you all, and I proudly vote aye on all. Thank you. Rose. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you. Speaker Johnson, I'd, I'd like to start first by thanking you for your vote of confidence. When you made me the youth committee chair, giving me the opportunity to serve and elevate all of the youth of New York City. Um, speaker, I want to thank you so much for just caring for everybody in New York City. And we have a lot to celebrate in this year's budget, and I want to start my celebratory remarks with, again, a thank you to the speaker for his vision and leadership, which led to major victories for all New Yorkers in a budget that benefits all. In addition to the items my colleagues have spoken about, I have to give a big shout out to our youth. Our city's young people are among the biggest winners in this budget, and this really did turn out to be the year of the youth. More than 20,000 families will be able to enroll their middle school children in summer sonic programs. That was a fear that um, they had. And the baselining of Compass after school programs means that many families and community providers can make long-term plans and reassure families who depend on these organizations. For my runaway, for our runaway and homeless youth, $3 million will be baseline for 60 new shelter beds for runaway and homeless youth. And these will serve young people up to the age of 24 in facilities that are LGBTQ affirming and supportive. And the expansion of the Summer Youth Employment Program adds capacity for an additional 5,000 young people for a total of 75,000 slots, while the Work, Learn, Grow restoration will provide former SYEP participants with career readiness training and paid employment opportunities for up to 25 weeks from the October to April. And I want to thank the Black and Latino Asian Caucus and Jamani Williams for all of their help in that fight. I thank all of you who advocated with me, including the speaker and my city council colleagues and the advocates. I have a lot to say. So I just want to say thank you for all of the gains that we made with youth in, in the youth pot. And then I want to, um, I want to thank our finance division. Um, Danny Drum, Vanessa Gibson, Latanya McKinney, Regina Nathan, Aisha Wright, and Jessica Ackerman for their help with this budget. And then there's the inimitable Ramon Martinez. Um, I was really shocked this morning to find out that he was leaving. And the loss of this institutional knowledge will be irretrievable. He is the archival vessel of all city council issues, personalities, and secrets. And I will miss being summoned to his office <laughs> like a bad child. <laughs> I will miss you, Ramon. You were my mentor, my protector, my supporter, 
and my friend. And you taught me how to fight for myself within these institutional walls and to channel the angry black women, woman within. This is truly the end of an era. I will miss you, my friend, and no more herding cats for you. And I, with that, I vote aye on all, and I have to disclaim that I am closing on the record of the city council proceedings that the New York City Department of Sanitation is funded by the budget we are adopting, and my son is associated with that entity. Thank you. And how do you vote? Oh, you do. Aye on all. Thank you. Rosenthal. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. And I vote aye on all. Councilmember Rose, I just want to pick up on the herding cats notion. Um, you know, the thing about Ramon is that um, is that he um, the reason he's so special is because Ramon, you get who the speaker is, and um, and convey the speaker's wishes, but also what's right for New York City and what's right for each member. And I think that's why everyone feels so um, strongly about miss, you know, the thought of your not being here. You know, I know for the Upper West Side school rezoning issue, you, you're, you really helped me through it, both with sage advice and also um, therapy sessions. And I really appreciate that. Um, but it's under this speaker that I feel you um, were most who you are, which is very generous, very um, generous with your advice and with information. And um, I saw a different Ramon and I really do think that was our new speaker bringing the best out in you. And so I appreciate the speaker for that, but appreciate you very much. Um, you know, for this budget negotiating team, uh, my colleagues on, I, I really want to thank my colleagues on the team who were willing to take on some very challenging issues. Um, it was an honor to work with you, Danny and Vanessa. Thank you for your leadership. Um, Corey, the way you uh, brought us through it and us through the understanding, if I could have Councilmember Mizell's uh, two minutes, <laughs> the, um, the way you brought us through understanding what was on the mayor's mind, what was on your mind, I just think you brought out the best in us. Um, and I, it was an honor to serve on the team with you, but I'm not done with you yet. I do just want to give a shout out to my chief of staff, Marisa Mock, whose deep understanding of the Upper West Side and passion for its residents is unsurpassed. Um, so, Speaker Johnson, thank you. You are a quick study, and it truly is a pleasure working with you. Um, and your team. You brought out the best in the finance team, the best in the BNT, uh, really with the unifying goal of serving all 8.5 million New Yorkers. Um, I especially want to thank you for keeping your eye on the ball for survivors of um, sexual violence and your keen ear and ability to synthesize the needs of 50 members and all of these issues is remarkable. And lastly, I want to thank the wisdom of um, Council Member Karen Kozlowitz. Thank you. Salamanca. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you. Um, I'm disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that uh, St. Vincent's de Paul residence is funded in the budget and we, are, and we are adopting and our father's associated with this entity and that the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation is funded in the budget we are adopting and my wife and my stepson are associated with this entity and uh, universal pre-K is funded in the budget we are adopting and my son is a student uh, in this entity. 
Um, and then finally, I just want to congratulate uh, you, Mr. Speaker, Chair, uh, Chair Drum, and Chair Gibson on your first budget. Mr. Speaker, you made sure to address all members asked, and you were inclusive. I thank you. The Bronx thanks you, and Orchard Beach goers thank you. Uh, thank you, and congrats to LaTanya, the finance staff, and all BNT members. And um, Ramon, from day one, when I joined the council, you have been a mentor, a teacher, an advisor, and a friend. And as my colleague, uh, Council Member Richard said, you've always reminded us that pigs get fed and hogs get slaughtered. Thank you, Ramon, you'll be missed. I have an eye on all. Thank you. Torres. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. I, you know, there are too many achievements to list, but I'm just proud to support a budget that includes fair fares. I mean, to think that as many as 800,000 New Yorkers every single day will pay less for public transit and will have freed up dollars for housing, for food, it's the most significant action the City Council has taken in recent memory to address the affordability crisis in our city. And the singular driving force behind Fair Fares was our Speaker, Corey Johnson. I think it is a monumental legacy achievement. And you are a natural at this role. You were tailor-made for it. You're one of the most gifted communicators I've ever met in my life. And not only is it a marvel to see you at work, but it's honored to be led by you. And I'm happy that the budget is in the hands of the gay mafia, both an LGBT speaker and an LGBT finance chair. And then finally, Ramon. Um, I don't know how Ramon could be both the chief operating officer and the chief executive officer of the council and a fixer, and a therapist, and a scold to 51 members. Um, he, you're one of the few people in government who has an iconic status. Right? Most people know the legend, and, but I think we're among the few who actually knows the person. And I would not be in elected office without you. I will confess, you're one of the few people who actually terrifies me. <laughs> Hence the avoidance of your phone calls. <laughs> But it's, it's with deep love and gratitude that I say goodbye. Thank you for everything you've done for me. And I vote aye. Thank you, council member. Traeger. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you. So a few weeks ago, we were in a very, very different place in terms of the budget negotiations. But I, I had a firsthand look at our speaker in action. Uh, the speaker never once buckled, not once wavered, not once flinched. And when you saw that firsthand up close, you know, we see people speak on the steps of City Hall and the cameras, and that's great. But when you see that type of leadership in the room, that's inspiring, and that fires you up. It doesn't take much to fire up Traeger, but it fires you up. <laughs> and I believe that leadership, that leadership, got us to the finish line. Speaker Corey Johnson, you are an extraordinary leader, and you got this budget done. Congratulations to you. I want to also congratulate our education champion, finance chair, Danny Drum, who really makes up the education dream team. Without Danny Drum, we wouldn't have had these extraordinary education accomplishments. I want to thank Chair Drum for that. I want to thank Chair Gibson for her leadership. I want to thank Majority Leader Cumbo for her leadership. I want to thank LaTanya and the entire finance division. Nice. Every time there's a budget negotiation back and forth, new numbers have to get crunched, new analysis have to be prepared, new briefings have to be made. The finance folks worked all day and night. They are extraordinary. And special shout out to our education committee staff as well. I want to thank uh, Ramon Martinez and also Jason Goldman for their extraordinary help and, uh, and partnership. I want to thank BNT. I want to thank the Brooklyn delegation, co-chair Antonio Reynoso. Our meetings were not as long this year. I am very proud of the Brooklyn delegation. I want to thank my chief of staff, Anna Scaife, who literally worked around the clock uh, making sure our priorities were advanced. There's some major education victories here. $125 million fair student funding increase. More social workers, guidance counselors. The speaker led the way. $150 million in capital to increase accessibility. Um, and again, I, I now have to really turn to, to Ramon Martinez. Um, so 
and this is this is my closing. Ramon, I remember uh, calls to you. I was making calls to him, particularly early in my tenure, venting mostly about the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> And Ramon told me, Traeger, this is not a sprint, this is a marathon. This is a long game, a long process, and those words sinked in. I don't believe I've met anyone else that has a better grasp and better knowledge of the channels of City Hall in order to get things done and close a deal. And he is by far the most honest broker throughout any process, and you want him on your side fighting to advance a cause. And for a person who has the reputation of being so tough, it's very telling that his door in his office is always open, literally and figuratively. You will be missed, and I am very grateful for your mentorship and for your wisdom. And with that, Majority Leader, I vote aye on all. Thank you, and public advocate Letitia James, please forgive me for allowing the members to go over their two-minute time frame. Ulrich. All right, I got a few things to say today. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, may be excused to explain my vote, please. Permission granted. Right. Well, this is my 10th budget, and uh, it's very different than my first budget. Uh, when Ramon gave me a yellow post-it with about uh, $2 million, the number 2.2 .2 written on it, and I realized that I was number 50 out of 51. And uh, I don't want to say who 51 was, but that's not important. <laughs> I've come a long way, and uh, I've grew really to respect and admire Ramon as a friend and a confidant. Uh, I drove him absolutely insane on many, many occasions, on many uh, bills and issues and funding and things that we wanted to do in my district and outside of my district that he told me I had no business being involved in. But, um, you know, he really uh, is a terrific person. When my grandfather, who was like my dad, passed away, uh, I remember how upset I was. And I remember walking out of the church with my family, and Ramon was in the back of the church. And I remember when uh, Tom Ognebeni, the former minority leader, passed away, uh, walking out of the church. He was also like a father to me. And I remember seeing Ramon sitting in the back of the church. So if you ever want to find him in church, he's in the last row. <laughs> but uh, he's a very respectful person. And uh, he learned from the best, Kevin McCabe, uh, who was Peter Vallone's yeah. chief of staff, who was, as uh, Ramon would say, a tough Irishman from Ozone Park. There are lots of them. And uh, uh, Ramon has just done a phenomenal job protecting this body and this institution and the members. Uh, that serve here. We have the privilege to serve our constituents and we're empowered in many ways by, by Ramon. So thank you, Ramon, for everything that you've done for me and for this body. And uh, Jason, I don't know why you want the job, but uh, I saw him earlier and I, I hear that he's one of the people in mind for it. Uh, but uh, Ramon is leaving some really big shoes to fill. I want to thank the speaker, my friend Corey Johnson, who I also drive insane. I drive a lot of people insane in case you haven't noticed. But uh, Corey is normally used to getting a call from me somewhere around midnight. I've had about five or six Johnny Walker Blacks, so if you ever really want to have a good laugh, you can, uh, you can get one of those phone calls, too. Just send me a text, and I'll shoot you a call. Anyway, no, but uh, uh, Jimmy and Steve get those calls, too, just in case you want to know. No, uh, he's done a phenomenal job. It's his first budget, but it really is one of the best budgets out of the 10 years that I've been here. My, constituent, my constituents have been through so much, especially after Hurricane Sandy, but they have gotten the resources and the support that they so rightfully deserve and that they need because of the great leadership of our speaker and uh, our finance chair, Danny Drum, and my good friend, Steve Matteo, who really is just a wonderful friend and uh, a phenomenal advocate for uh, his borough. His constituents are very, very lucky to have him, but I consider myself very lucky uh, to work alongside him. I want to thank the finance staff for the great job that they do. They now lock the door on the 15th floor so I can't get in because my door, <laughs> the suite, and they cha I used to have access. My card used to work on that door. And then some, one day I went to use it, and then the door wouldn't open. But um, I hope they did that for everybody else, too. It wasn't just for me. OK, I don't know. Anyway, uh, no, but they do a phenomenal job. And uh, I want to thank my chief of staff, Kevin. Uh, Tishard and uh, Matt Pecorino, my new budget director, they've done a great job. And it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to serve 
I love my job, I love what I do. I don't dance nearly as well as Corey does, and I won't put those videos on YouTube or social media, but I am very happy to be here, and I love what I do, and I love working with all you great people. So thank you very much, and, and have a great summer. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I got to vote, too. All right, I got to disclose something, too. All right, well, you made a mistake here. All right, so as I'm disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that St. Francis College is funded in the budget we're adopting, and you have, it says my wife, it's my soon-to-be ex-wife. I don't know if we could put that on there, but I'm in the middle of a divorce. So I just, I want to disclose that. On the record, no, it's a matter of public record. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It happens to a lot of people. But listen, it's 2018, all right? Soon-to-be ex-wife and I are associated with this entity. All right. Kiwanis Club, I'm a member of Kiwanis Club, too, is funded in the budget we're adopting. And I'm associated with this entity. Okay, I think that covered that. Let's get, all right, let me vote, hold on. Uh, Madam Majority Leader, I ask that you uh, keep members to the clock for the all rest right. of the okay. session. Yes, there's a bit of TMI going I on, yeah. Need, well, I, I would need more than two minutes to tell you what happened. Anyway. <laughs> or, or in my case, what didn't happen, so. <laughs> All right. Councilmember Ulrich, how do you vote? I'm voting aye on all except <laughs> preconsider resos 397, 398, 48, 408, and M64. Thank you for your indulgence, your patience, and uh, I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Next member. <laughs> Valone. Sure, I have to follow Eric after that. <laughs> Madam, may I have a moment to explain my vote. Permission Glory, granted. Glory, my dear, thank you. Uh, first of all, I, I, I guess I'd like to disclose that my son's soccer team is going for his back-to-back -back championship, and clearly his coach is the reason for all of these championships, but I have to <laughs> I don't know, it's funny you should ask who his coach is, but it happens to be his dad, so I have to disclose on the record that St. Andrew Avellino's uh, senior and CYO programs are funded in this budget, as well as Sports and Arts Schools Foundation, LGBT Health and Human Services, New York Junior Tennis League, and Citizen Schools, uh, which my father and brother are associated with. So on, I'd like to say to our leader and to our speaker, as a friend and a brother, from day one, you treated every one of us with respect, with friendship, with open arms. You listened to us, and this budget is a true testament to that reflection of the commitment of every council member. Um, and for me, that was a brand new experience, and I appreciate that. Uh, and I've been able to experience what a being a full member of a council can really do for each of us and for our districts. And now we're able to bring back these type of victories citywide and to communities that are personally depending on each one of us to really fight for them. And you allowed us to fight for them, and every one of them are in this budget. So this really is, and I think this is what Stephen was saying before, why there's such joy in the city, is because each one of us can really bring back these type of victories. And to Karen, our delegation chair, uh, and to every member of this council, I, I, I heard how hard each one of you, and Karen put that request in to, to rename the CUNY scholarship, and I thank Council Member Barron and Traeger for education. <laughs> you know, the story on that was that that was Dad's last year as speaker, and he wanted to create with the council they had a very first Dreamers scholarship because there was no ability for kids to get to CUNY with any financial aid before that. And he didn't fight for that to be named, and Karen surprised, as did this council, my father on his last budget, saying, you know what, we're renaming this after the man who fought for it. Uh, he rarely gets emotional, and when we called him yesterday and when Karen spoke to him yesterday, uh, an 83-year-old proud man celebrating his 60th anniversary with my mom, uh, got pretty emotional on the phone. So I, I thank every one of the council members for doing that. Council members Barron, thank you. Traeger, thank you for that. Um, that was a big victory for our students. And everyone talks about the Dreamer Scholarships. That was the first one. Um, and uh, again, a thank you to all that. Margaret, great victories for the seniors. No better fighter can we have for the seniors than Margaret Chin. And I'd like to say um, to everyone here again, thank you for that. It's a proud day for all of us. Ramon, I'd like to close by saying you have worked with every Valone, you have stood by this, really this institution. You have fought for the respect of the council and to make sure that we were an equal body. And that was, I think, your greatest passion and strength is no matter who was the speaker, no matter who the council members were, and that's where your, your, your passion would always be. 
is to respect this body and this institution. And if anyone got in your way, they heard it. But it was because it was the better of the good for the city to make sure that we were an equal body. Uh, you did that with a unique group of people at the very beginning, and you carried that tradition on for all these years. So thank you for always being a friend to our family, a friend to this council, and a friend to the city. So God bless you. Thank you very, very much. The vote. I do have to vote. I did that. I give everyone else. So I'd like to vote aye on all except with uh, preconsidered resolutions 397, 398, 408, and M64. And a big congratulations to my budget director, who is now my deputy chief of staff, Ahmed Nazar. Well deserved, Ahmed. Thank you. Van Bramer. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to say. A big thank you to my chief of staff, uh, Matt Wallace, who uh, not only has participated now in eight budgets with me, uh, but did so this year as a brand new father. And so he's been balancing uh, having a beautiful new baby boy, Gabriel, while he is also working on this budget. So I want to thank him uh, for his amazing work on behalf of me and uh, the district that we serve. Uh, I want to say to our speaker, Corey Johnson, uh, I have watched him over these last several months. Uh, he is indeed a terrific leader. It is not easy to bring all of the disparate voices in this body together. Uh, and he allows us to have our individual voices while certainly being an effective and forceful leader. That is a delicate balance. That is a difficult dance sometimes. But he does it. He does it well. Uh, and I want to thank him for his leadership. Uh, it's been incredibly uh, rewarding to be a part of this experience in this council. I want to congratulate my colleague to the east, uh, Danny Drum, on his great work here as well. And of course, uh, Karen Koswitz for her leadership in Queens. Uh, I am so excited about this budget for so many reasons. Um, in this budget that we are voting on right now, there are over $300 million in new money, new money for culture, the arts, and libraries in the city of New York. That is an amazing victory on behalf of the people of the city of New York. Uh, I am so thrilled uh, that with Speaker Johnson's uh, help, we have, uh, in this budget, uh, added incredible uh, amounts of money in terms of cultural capital. Uh, we have bolstered the expense budget for the Department of Cultural Affairs and our program groups, and we increased CASAs. Uh, once again, for the fifth year in a row, uh, I inherited a $5 million CASA program. It is now $15.5 million. CASA alone, 765 different schools in the city of New York now have after-school cultural programming just from CASA alone. And of course, our libraries, huge victories for our libraries. I want to thank uh, the speaker again for some of the personal items. Six and a half million dollars to completely renovate the Woodside Library. Great amount of money and capital for LaGuardia Community College, uh, Rainy Park, so many other victories. This is an amazing, amazing day. Uh, and I want to thank the speaker again. To Ramon Martinez. Uh, Ramon, I know that uh, you have a reputation uh, for being a tough guy, for being the no guy. Uh, but I also know that you care deeply about uh, the people that we serve, this city. You care about the issues. Uh, and I know that you like libraries. And I know that you are an avid reader. Uh, and I want to thank you for the work. Though you live in Brooklyn now, uh, you'll always be a kid uh, who ran around Woodside and Sunnyside. Uh, and made your start uh, in the neighborhoods uh, that I get to represent now in the City Council. Uh, I also want to thank you personally uh, because you have provided a lot of advice over the years. Uh, and though I took little of it, I want to say... <laughs> I want to say thank you because I think you were coming from a good place and trying to mentor and trying to coach um, and you were one of the few people uh, to talk to me about my own personal growth in this body over the years. Um, and I also want to say, you did help me 
in a number of ways, uh, and I'm grateful. And our district benefited from that. I benefited from that. Uh, and when I first started in the council, and I think you know this, uh, and I was starting to figure out how to be a council member and how to get things done in this body, I wasn't sure who to go to. And another council member who has since retired uh, said to me, go to Ramon, talk to Ramon. Uh, he won't always tell you yes, he won't always tell you everything you want to hear, but he will be as honest as anybody can be in this building about whether or not he can get it done. Uh, and from that very beginning, in that very meeting, when I walked into your office and told you that story, uh, that has been the case. So uh, I want to say thank you uh, on behalf of everything. It is impossible uh, to see uh, uh, all of what's happened here without you being a part of it. And it's difficult to see how the next three and a half years uh, will happen without you being in that room. Um, but I want to say thank you uh, for everything that you've meant to me, uh, to my district, and to the city. With that, I vote aye on all. Thank you. Williams. May I excuse my vote? Permission granted. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'm going to repeat what I said uh, in Dem Caucus, which was when I learned the details of this uh, budget, I was uh, almost glad that I lost, uh, almost. Uh, because uh, this was an, an amazing budget, and I do want to give uh, Speaker Johnson a lot of credit uh, for the leadership that he showed during this budget, most importantly of which, I believe we showed that we are a strong, independent body, and when we stick together, we really can be the counterweight uh, to this mayor and any mayor and an administration, which is what we're supposed to be, and I hope that's the legacy uh, that moves forward from this budget. So thank you for that. Uh, of course, congratulations to LaTanya, uh, Councilmember Drum and Gibson, uh, my Deputy Chief of Staff, Farrah Lewis. This is her first full budget. Uh, she got a taste of it last year when Nick Smith was stolen by the mayor uh, in the middle of the budget season. Uh, so congratulations to her. Uh, of course, the fair fares uh, is awesome. Uh, some issues that I just want to point out, the Metro IAF, EBC, uh, the funding that was uh, put in for that, uh, CMS being baselined, the crisis management system dealing with gun violence being baselined by the administration. Uh, I want to thank the speaker uh, for helping me complete uh, the first youth center uh, in my budget, the Shirley Chisholm Youth Center, and uh, uh, safe um, program for Flatbush Development Corporation to protect and preserve the f affordable units we have in our district. Uh, shout out to Debbie Rose uh, and the speaker and everyone for the youth jobs that have been put in um, this budget, it is amazing. Uh, several years, when I came in, I think we were under 30,000. And a few years ago, uh, when we put out a lot of new money uh, for police officers, a lot of us, including myself, made a big push that we have to put a commensurate amount of funding into other things. Uh, youth jobs was one of those. And thanks to the leadership of so many, I'm glad I was able to lend my voice, including the Black Latino Asian Caucus, the Progressive Caucus, uh, the youth chairs, particularly Debbie Rose. Uh, this year, we're now up to 75,000. Uh, we made a commitment back then that we would keep going until uh, we hit 100,000, and my hope is that continues uh, a word uh, to, to the body. Uh, the conjugality that is seen here, I hope we take that continuing. It does get harder when there is no money, and so hopefully we'll remember how we feel today, what can happen when we move together. Lastly, Ramon. Dude, he just shocked everybody, man. Um, I want to say, um, it's been an amazing time uh, dealing with you ever since I came here. This is, this is my ninth year. Uh, and the biggest compliment that I can pay is that there, is not, there isn't too many people in this business that no means no and yes means yes. Um, and that is what I found with you. And truthfully, maybe means maybe. If you have never, in the nine years that we've agreed, disagreed, you haven't misguided me, you haven't lied. Um, when you said something, I, could, I can take it to the bank. That means a lot in this business because it's not too many people uh, like that. Um, and I know you're known as a, a tough guy. Uh, you're a soldier to whatever speaker you work to. Sometimes rightness or wrongness may take a backseat to your job. But I think uh, the secret that you don't want people to know is that you actually care uh, deep down. And that comes out as well. Uh, so it's been an honor to serve with you. I think it's going to be a huge loss um, to this body. Um, uh, we've agreed and disagreed. Uh, but I'm just proud because nine times out of ten, 
when we would agree or disagreed, we sat down and came to something that we both agreed it. Uh, the 10th time was a doozy, but all the rest of the time, I think, was, uh, uh, was pretty good. So I'm just honored by that. I don't know who's going to uh, keep me from running in the fields, but um, we shall see. I wish you the best of luck. Congratulations to you and your family. And with that, I vote aye and all. I do have to, I uh, wait, uh, I'm disclosing on the record of this council proceedings that Bergen Basin Community Development Corp, also known as Millennium Development Sen Senior Center, is funded in the budget. And we are adopting, and the best mother in the world, which happens to be my mom, is all associated with this entity. Vote aye and all. Thank you. Thank you. Jaeger. May I have the excuse to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I worked here in this body. Uh, when Council Member Costle was voted for her third budget and for several years thereafter. I don't remember exactly when I met Ramon. Uh, I was a young aide. Uh, I don't remember if it was to a council member or to a borough president. I do remember he had hair. He had a suit. Um, uh, I don't think there was ever a time that uh, Ramon scolded me in a way that made me feel like less of a human being. I think everything he always did was to try to educate me and make me a better person, um, a better future public servant, which I hope I am now. Um, I want to thank him for a number of things in the last couple of months, uh, especially. Um, he told me uh, when he knew I was wrong, those rare occasions, um, uh, tried to convince me that he was right. Uh, on the rare occasions, even rarer occasions, when he knew I was right, he still tried to convince me that he was right, and I appreciate that as well. Um, Council Member Williams, uh, you were very true when you said uh, no means no and yes means yes. There are very few people in this business who did that. Ramon is one of them. Um, when I hugged him earlier, he said uh, something, I don't remember, I think he said, uh, it'll be okay or it'll be all right. Um, and that may be the first time. I'm not sure I believe him. We'll find out. Uh, but you will be missed. Um, I, you're probably, you're, I think you're the only person in this building the only person in my life who calls me young man when he sees me, and I appreciate that as well. I still have my hair and I do have a suit. Um, but Ramon, you will be missed uh, myself uh, on behalf of the people I represent. Uh, and it's always strange when I look at you and I say that. Um, on behalf of this council, I think that you have been uh, without question uh, since, since my knowledge of this council 25 years ago, 24 years ago, you've been the only constant uh, that has made this body to the incredible branch of government that it is. I'm grateful to you. Uh, onward and upward, Godspeed. Thank you. I vote uh, aye on all, with the exception, I'm sure this is a shock, uh, to Resolution 397, Resolution 398, pre-considered Resolution, uh, the communication uh, M64, and Resolution 408, on which I respectfully vote no. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. Deutsch. Thank you. Um, so I'd like to change my vote. Uh, I'd like to vote no on Rezo 397, 398, 408, and uh, on M64. Thank you. Are you kidding? Thank you. Mario. Uh, maybe excuse to explain my vote. Permission granted. Thank you. So let me start off by saying I am, I am very happy that Eric had a chance to let it all out. You, now you know the call at 12 o'clock that I get and Corey gets added some Johnny Walker in there, and we have no idea where he goes with it, but uh, you got a little taste of it today. Um, yeah, we'll get the call later. We'll, we'll finish. Um, I want to start off by um, thanking the finance staff. Uh, I said in the, in, in the committee hearing, um, we have the best finance staff around. None of this can happen without the leadership of Latonia and everyone on the finance staff. I've worked with you as a staff member and now as an elected official, and I can't thank you enough um, for your dedication and your expertise to get us where we are. I want to thank my staff, uh, led by my budget director and uh, deputy chief of staff, Angela San, my chief of staff, David Carr, and my uh, chief of operations in the minority leader's office, Pete Spencer. Um, Ramon, uh, we've known each other a long time, since 2004. You have been, um, more than anything, a friend. I will never forget how you were there for me when my father passed away last year, um, how you were um, with me since I was a staffer as an elected official. I'm going to miss our 8.30 meetings where other members come in and go, 
the minority leaders in there again with Ramon. Um, we've had some great success together. You have put this institution first be, uh, over any, any one person, and that's why you have been such a great chief of staff uh, to this institution. Um, you have made the city council a better place because you have been here for so long and for what you have done. I'm going to miss you. Uh, we are all going to miss you, and we love you. Um, and uh, I'm very happy for you and your family, and I wish you nothing but the best, my friend. Um, I will, you know, it, it's been a long day, but um, I will, I think everyone knows I am um, uh, an ardent um, supporter of trying to get property tax relief for our constituents. Uh, there's no question I'm, I'm disappointed that we didn't get a property tax rebate uh, in this year's budget. Um, I, I, you know, it has to be said, but I have to thank the speaker. Uh, speaker's with, been with me and all of us who have advocated for property tax relief since day one, um, and you have been our supporter and fighter for that. And while we didn't get the rebate this time, we're gonna continue to fight for property tax relief um, for our constituents um, and rebates in, in, in the upcoming budgets. And I know the speaker will be leading the charges he did this year. Um, it's not always being uh, the minority leader uh, in a 48-member um, council um, and I'm BNT, but this speaker uh, has just done a great job working with me and my delegation to make sure that um, this budget is for is for everyone. We don't agree on everything. That's that's no shock to anyone. But we came together in this budget to make sure that my constituents in Staten Island, Joe's constituents in Staten Island, Eric's constituents in Queens, were, um, their needs were met, and I can't thank you enough for your leadership and for your partnership, Mr. Speaker. Everyone knows how close we are uh, in our friendship, but um, you made sure that um, our, th our three districts were a, a huge part of this budget locally, and our constituents appreciate it. We're gonna have a lot of um, great announcements coming out, um, and um, so, and even with the turkeys that we announced yesterday that we made Brad Lander very happy. So um, with that, I am going to vote yes on, um, on everything except I'm going to vote no on 397, 398, 408, and M64. Combo. I am disclosing on the record of the council proceedings that the New York City Department of Education is funded in the budget we are adopting and my sisters are employed as teachers with DOE. Speaker Corey Johnson, Corey, four years ago when we were first elected to this body, I could never imagine fast forwarding that we would be in the positions that we're in today. And I'm incredibly proud of you Four years ago, we talked about what we were going to do in the council, legislation that we wanted to pass, how we wanted to help people, how we wanted to be able to change and transform the city of New York. And this budget does exactly that. This is a game-changing budget that is going to change the lives of so many marginalized New Yorkers. And you listened, whether it was a senior center, a train ride, a bus ride, you were there to hear people and to lead a body of the 50 most ambitious people in the city of New York in a really ambitious city is amazing. And it's a testament that all of your colleagues here have spoken about this extraordinary gain for the entire city of New York. You set a new precedent in terms of budget negotiations and we are finally now an equal partner in government. And as the song says, Starting from the bottom, now we're here. And I wanted to add, as chair of the Women's Issues Committee formally before Councilmember Helen Rosenthal, I'm so excited that this budget represents so much for women, whether it is increases to Dove as far as domestic violence, making sure that the anti-sexual assault 
uh, initiative is funded to fair fairs where so many women, as you noted, were at train stations with their children asking for a swipe, to making sure that our city is, is broadened for women, particularly our CUNY child care centers. These are all tremendous wins for the city of New York, and we thank you. And the dynamic men of the finance team and here, it's so great the work that you're doing, but I really have to highlight the women here. It's, it's revolutionary for people to see women in roles that they stereotypically do not. And to see LaTanya McKinney and Vanessa Gibson and many of the other women that serve on the finance committee is game changing for so many women. Young girls are gonna look up to see what they can be. And so I'm so very proud of the dynamic women who are changing the roles in terms of what women can be. And I want to thank at this time, Ramon Martinez, this place is not going to be the same without you. You're one of those individuals that, ironically, because we always play tough guy, I'm excited to see when I come to work. It's always an opportunity for banter, gossip, wanting to push in another capital project or talk about something. There's a game you play when you're a child where you flip a coin to see if it's gonna be heads or tails. And from that, you get to pick who's gonna be on your team first. And I think everybody in this room would always pick you first because you are that muscle, you are that stand-up guy, you are that person that you always want by your side when you're going into battle. And so people may think that you're this tough guy, but you're really an extraordinary man. And I, I see you've been joined by your friends and colleagues, former council member Dominic Recchio, who's chair of finance as well as culturals during his tenure, and uh, our, your good friend Jeff Rodas. And when I came to the council, you all were certainly the institution. And I thank you for all that you've done for me, and I thank you for all that you've done for this body. And as tough as you are, I'll just by saying, I like to wear sometimes often very colorful clothing. And who now is going to try on my clothes now that you are gone? So I thank you so very much for that, Ramon Martinez. And I proudly vote aye on the most extraordinary game-changing budget in New York City's history. Thank you. Mario. Thank you. I just have to disclose uh, some things on the record. Uh, my two oldest children go to Susan Wagner High School. We're funding them in the budget. My brother works at Rumsey University. We are funding them. Uh, my two oldest work in the Summer Youth Employment Program, and my youngest attends PS30, all of which we are funding in this budget. Thank you. Thank you. Speaker Johnson. I very, very proudly vote aye on everything on the calendar today. I lastly, of course, want to thank Ramon again, thank LaTanya again, and the entire, literally, every single member of the Finance Division. All of you have worked incredibly hard throughout this entire process. You work incredibly hard throughout the entire year in our budget negotiating uh, meetings and in Democratic Conference. Each one of you were invaluable in knowing so much about the committees that you cover, the areas in the budget that we fund, and we actually couldn't have made these very important decisions without the incredible knowledge that literally every person I look at from the finance division was able to share with us, and are they up back to, and upstairs as well. Literally every single one of you have been really, really wonderful and incredible. And um, I, 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 you've heard the thanks from the members here today, but I, I wanna tell you, I came by, I think, and I, I tried to thank you all individually on the 15th floor. Not everyone was there, but I got to thank many of you individually. Um, and I want to just want to tell you that, you know, the council is only as strong as it is because of the great staff that we have here. And I want you to know that every day we appreciate that. And the last person I want to thank is someone who learned a lot during the process through Ramon and through LaTanya and someone who uh, I consider to be a key person for this body, Jason Goldman, the Deputy Chief of Staff, who worked with almost all of the members in the staff. So I proudly vote aye. And uh, with that, Madam Public Advocate, are we done, or is there more to do? You're gonna, you're gonna read the, please. Yes, we are, and I'm gonna take a majority leader privilege, and I just wanna thank my staff as well, Jason Herr and Crystal Hudson, for negotiating their first budget. And I wanna thank Eric Botcher, my chief of staff. Thank you. All items on today's general order calendar were adopted by a vote of 49 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions. 
with the exception of Resolution 397, which was adopted by a vote of 38 affirmative, 11 negative, and zero abstentions. And Resolution 398, which was adopted by a vote of 38 affirmative, 11 negative, and zero abstentions. And M64 and Res 408, which was adopted by a vote of 38 in the affirmative, 11 negative, and zero abstentions. I now formally declare the executive expense revenue contract budget, the executive capital budget, and the community development program budget for fiscal year 2019 all as modified and all in accordance with the relevant sections of the New York City Charter as hereby adopted as of 4.40 p.m. on this 14th day of June, 2018. Thank you. You may be seated. We're not quite done yet. We have I no, know. We have no one for general discussion, do we? Anyone who, please, colleagues, not today. Uh, I'm going to ask anyone who signed up for general discussion to please, please wait for another week. Please. We have please. another stated on June 28th. Okay. Supplemental introduction and reading of bills. All bills have been referred to committees as indicated on the agenda. Supplemental discussion of resolutions. None. Supplemental general discussion. We have three. We'll do them quickly, and we will stick to the or time. Not all three need to speak unless it's completely necessary. Are so there any that are willing to? Just read who they are, and if they decide. Councilmember Barron. Thank you. She will hold her comments for the 28th. Thank you, Councilmember Barron. Councilmember Rose? Thank you. She will also hold her comments for the 28th. Councilmember Williams? I apologize, uh, but uh, five years ago today, my father passed away, and I'd like to lift his name up and wish all fathers happy Father's Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and we are sorry for your loss. Speaker Johnson will now close the meeting. Today's state of meeting will, will, will continue to be held in recess. Thank you all very much. Thank you.